my co-founder dropped out of the challenge. How's it going guys, Joxel here with another video, and today I'm giving you another update on the road to 50K in 100 days. It's November 9th, which makes it day 49, and we're nearly halfway through the challenge. Since we started on September 22nd, we've developed a high-level business plan, created an LLC, created our bank account, business credit card, set up our tools and our process for working together. We launched a website and even started the development process of our first set of digital products. Originally, we had planned to create website templates. The idea behind that was there were a lot of people that we wanted to target, like entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, creators, and generally people of color who want to start a digital business who would all eventually need to create a website. And naturally, they would try to create themselves, try and save money using a variety of different website builders, a popular one that seems to be popping up a lot is Show It, and I've seen a lot of people start creating templates for that platform. So the idea was we'd be able to create these templates using stock photography that featured primarily people of color, um, focusing on developing and designing these sites with high functioning and high conversion components in mind. So that way, if anybody decided to use the template, they could be sure that whatever site they build would serve its purpose very effectively. Nicole and I talked about a week ago about the remainder of the challenge and the direction that we were going to try and level set on where we were and where we wanted to be. And ultimately we decided to pivot from the original website template idea. She addressed some concerns about the alignment of the products that we were creating and the audience that we were serving through our YouTube channels and our Instagrams. You see, our audience together is mostly comprised of people looking to get into the tech industry or learn about software engineering, or generally are inter interested in making a career change into tech. Versus the templates and those digital products that we were planning to create would be focused more towards entrepreneurs and creators. The thought process was we would be able to leverage the audience that we continue to build as we publicize this whole process to then convert into sales or you know convert into traffic that can then funnel into sales. It made a lot of sense though, considering the fact that it's being that our audience was primarily made of people looking to get into software engineering that we developed some type of product or process that was specific to them. So we laid out a plan to get started in the new direction. However, the next day she called a meeting with me and, and essentially explained that she didn't want to continue the challenge anymore. She had her reasons and they were all valid. I'm not going to go into detail about them because I know she's going to make her own video explaining her side and like the reasoning behind it and I want to respect her decision while also not trying to speak for her. But the good news is the reasons that she gave weren't related to me and there's no bad blood between us. We'll continue on being friends and supporting each other's channels and content and overall I'm relieved because the reasons she gave weren't related to me. I'd be lying though if I said I wasn't disappointed. I was really excited to build the plan that we had built together. Nonetheless, I respect her decision and I plan to move forward. She withdrew from the LLC and it remains my name. So my next steps is to continue on with that new plan to develop that product for the software engineers and the aspiring developers in my audience. Uh, specifically because I, I feel like it's gonna provide the most value to you. And I'm still gonna do it all in public. I'm gonna give you guys a high level view of my thought process on how I design everything and why I decide to make the decisions that I do. So that way you can still get that insight into what it's like to try and start a business. I want to give you an idea of the plan and be very transparent in the process of its development because at the end of the day, I want to serve you, my community. And I feel like if I do that well enough, the money will come. But that's just a quick update of what's been going on over the last couple of weeks. I have some more content coming down the pipeline related to the 50K challenge, the future of Umber Society, and some other software development related videos. So that way you guys are still getting you know valuable information and advice along your journeys. I really appreciate you guys for watching. Make sure you check out Nicole's channel if you want to eventually hear her side of the story and you know see some of her thought process behind why she decided to pivot. And I hope to see you again.